So crystallization is the process of isolating a solid from a, a solution, okay, or a clear liquid. And in pharmaceuticals, what that means is we isolate the active ingredient of your drug products using crystallization. So it's really important because that actually dictates the properties of the, the drug. So it dictates how it will go into the person and the patient, and also how it will handle when you process it onwards in terms of the manufacturing process. So crystallization in general is a key component of pharmaceutical manufacturing. But then there's different stages in pharmaceutical manufacturing, making the different intermediates up along. And the most important stage would be your final step, when you're actually crystallizing the material that will go into the patient. And in Ireland, we really do a lot of final step manufacturing for our pharmaceutical industry. So crystallization is a really key component here um, in Ireland. The facilities in UL are ideally suited to this research because we have the Bernal Institute with state-of-the-art laboratory facilities. Then we have our Synthesis and Solid State Pharmaceutical Centre, which has a lot of the both the equipment that we need in terms of the uh, process equipment and the analytical equipment and also a critical mass of researchers in the area. And additionally then to that we've recently been awarded an infrastructure award through Science Foundation Ireland which has allowed us to expand our equipment base here in UL and build a dedicated laboratory for crystallization, isolation and drying unit operations which will enable us to do a lot more industrially relevant research here in UL. The challenges facing um, research in the pharmaceutical arena really would be centred around uh, the gap, if you like, between industry practice and research because there is, it's a highly regulated environment as it has to be with the, the product going into human patients but then also that means that it's harder for the industry to change some of the technology they have or some of the practices that they have. So sometimes there can be an advancement at the research side but it's very slow to actually be able to prove that on the industrial scale or to realise it um, within the industry. So continuous manufacturing lends itself to more agile, flexible processes which should deliver a more consistent product. So it's attractive to the industry because it offers advantages relative to the current batch manufacturing modes that are used. My research here in UL is concerned with a specific part of the pro of manufacturing process, so crystallization, isolation and drying, and we're looking into trying to transfer those operations from batch configurations into continuous configurations and integrating them to give manufacturing platforms.